Hello and welcome to Wisdom Bites. Hope you're well. Thank you once again for joining us. Very much appreciated. And in today's video, I'm going to be looking at what we can expect in the next few months by looking at the 60-day cycle, which we've been looking at over the last many, many weeks. I'll also be looking at a realistic price prediction for 2023. And I'll also have a look at what we can expect for the upcoming bull market. And I think it's going to be a price that's not going to make very many people happy because people are expecting so much more than what I think is a realistic price for the end of the following bull market. So if that sounds interesting, then without further ado, get yourself a festive cup of tea, sit yourself down, eyes on the screen, and let's get cracking. As usual, before I begin, please remember the polite reminder, nothing in this video or any of my videos should be taken as financial advice. I'm just giving you my perspective, my view, and it is just a view amongst many, many views out there. So please do your wider research before you make any investment decisions. So with that out of the way, before I go into the analysis, I just want to wish everyone a happy and very prosperous new year. And the fact that you're still here after a brutal 12 months of a downturn in the bear market is testimony to your winning mentality. And I'm sure that it will be very handsomely rewarded in the coming weeks, months, and years. And I want to start with this quote from Wayne Dyer, and this relates to the law of attraction. And I think it's something that we should always keep in the forefront of our mind, not in the back of the mind, because it's something that's going to drive you to bigger and better and wiser things in the future. And what this says is that the more you see yourself as what you'd like to become and act as if what you want is already there, the more you'll activate those dormant forces that will collaborate to transform your dream into your reality. So what it's really saying is have a vision, have a dream, have your goals and see them as what you want to become. So look at the end result like an architect before he lays a brick on the ground. He's already got the completed picture of the house or the building or whatever. And so when he's seeing the whole picture on the paper, the more you're able to activate that picture, that vision, that dream, those goals, those objectives. And because you're seeing that as your vision, then things will happen. Forces will collaborate. They'll come together. The law of attraction will make it happen to transform what you see on paper, what you see in your vision and make it come into your reality. And that's what I want for everybody. And finally, on this note while we're here, I just want to give a few affirmations of what you can do on a daily basis to allow that reality to come together. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to give you an affirmation which I actually think that you can use on a daily basis. Whenever you wake up in the morning, just say this to yourself and it puts you into a really amazing positive mindset. And by doing that, what you do is you attract positive forces into your life, not just for that day, but if you do it every day, it will help every single week, every month, at all times for you. So this is the one that I've chosen. And basically it says, I choose to feel peaceful. The place of my origination is stillness from which all creation originates. I trust in myself. I live in a divinely inspired universe. In all of nature, no storm can last forever. And it is through selfless action that I experience my own fulfillment. I relax and enjoy life. And finally, I am kind. So when you've got all your mindset on these types of thought processes, then what you're doing is you're shutting off the door for any negativity to enter into your mind. And always just be careful of people who are negative around you. You really need to give them the red card in footballing analogy. Okay, so I hope you found value in these quotations. And if you did, then leave a comment below I really like to hear from people who like these types of affirmations and a positive way of living. Okay, so on we go with the analysis. I'm actually going to start on the weekly chart of the BLX. And this is a pattern that you can see that's developed over the last 12 years with Bitcoin. And it's the same pattern that repeats over and over again. And what I want to bring to your attention here, these pink lines are the halvings. I'll bring the current halving that's going to be coming in 2024 into picture here. And what this pattern really says to us, it's really shouting at us exactly what could possibly happen over here. So as you can see, it's a simple pattern that seems to be developing. And what we know with Bitcoin is that it has a habit of continuing to repeat 
similar patterns throughout in the future. So what we've got here is we've got this channel, this white line at the top and at the bottom and the price action is contained within it. So what we have is a series of peaks at the top and we've got a series of troughs at the bottom. And as you can see, once we reach the peak, it's followed by a steep bear market to the bottom of the channel. So once again here in 2013 to the end of 2014, here from the end of 2017 to the end of 2018, and here once again from the end of 2021, and currently we've just passed the end of 2022. So it seems to be a pattern now that's happened four times. And this always happens before the halving. This one happened before this halving, this happened before this halving, and guess what? We've just gone through the same pattern before the coming halving in May 2024. So it seems very logical that in between the trough and the halving, we seem to have one, maybe two rallies. The same happened in 2014-15. At the bottom of the trough, we had one, two rallies before the halving. And back in 2019, once we had the trough, i.e. the bottom of the bear market, we had one, maybe possibly two there, rallies before we got the halving over here. So just based on this pattern, it seems logical to think that before the next halving in May 2024, are we going to get something similar to these developments in the next 18 months or so. The historical perspective of Bitcoin would suggest that we are, for all intents and purposes, going to get something of a relief rally maybe here twice before we come into the halving in 2024. And the question is, how much can we expect of this rally that could be coming? And it can happen in the next three months, or it can happen in mid-year, or it can happen at the end of 2023. But certainly, if you look at the historical perspective, it tends to happen quite quickly within the first six months. So as you can see, when we came to the trough here, it happened very quickly here. Same over here. It happened very, very quickly, a few months down the line. And here as well, this happened in June, within six months of the bottom of the bear market here. So I would suggest, based on a historical chart pattern and the fractals that we would more than likely in the next six months have some sort of a relief rally and what can we expect of that? That's what we want to have a look at. If we have a look at the first cycle here, after the bottoming out, the first rally gave us around about 250% within the first six months. Then at the end of the first cycle here, we bottomed out at this point over here and the first rally here after the bottoming out and the end of the bear market was around about 200%. And then at the end of 2018, when we bottomed out from the bottom of that bear market to the next rally was about 300%. So I would suggest that just based on the facts in the charts here, we could expect anywhere between 200 and 300% here. And if 15,400 is the bottom of the market, and we haven't really confirmed that yet, but that's all we've got for the time being. If we had just a 200% rise from there, that would give us a price of around about 46,000. And please don't mistake 200% being twice as much as 15,000, because that would then come to 30,000. But 30,000 would be a 100% increase, because I got some comments in one of the other videos about that. 200% is going to be 44, 45,000. However, I would say that a more accurate figure will be something that Bitcoin has a very strong affinity to, and that is the 61.8. And if we took the 61.8 at 15,400, so if we measure the top of the market, which is 69,000 over here, to the current bottom that we have, and that's all we've got to go for, of course we can have another new bottom yet, but this may well be the bottom at 15,400. And what that gives us is a golden pocket price prediction for this coming year of around about $40,000. And if we stretch that all along here, we can see that that would really make sense because 40,000 was obviously a rounded figure, which all markets have an affinity to, towards whole numbers. Also, this is the price action where there was a lot of resistance and support all along here, as we can see. Lots and lots of support and resistance. 
and along here as well. So that would make sense for a rally up into this 40,000 mark. And everybody will have their own way of looking at things. And I think that 61.8 is a good one to go for as a minimum, because in the previous bull market, if we have a look at 2018, when we came to the end of that bull market at the end of 2018 here, then this rally that we got in 2019, based on those figures, then the rally that we got there was right up to the 78.6 level here at 13,700. But most of the action, if you can see here, was around the 61.8 level. So obviously we faded above it, but this is where would be a good place to take profits for the upcoming rally that we're expecting. And if we did come to the 78.6, then that would give us around about the $50,000 mark over here. So this would be the level that you'd be looking at. So anywhere between 40,000 at the 61.8, and the 78.6 level at $50,000 mark. So I would suggest just based on the historical perspective and price action, that we have a very strong chance of getting a rally up to the 40,000 and possibly even to the 78.6 level at $50,000 mark. So what can we expect at the end of this bull market that's coming up, which we expect to end at the end of 2024? Now I know a lot of people have been predicting 250, 300,000, 400, and that's what we thought would be the price at the end of the previous bull market. However, this channel has remained true all this time. And really, there isn't anything in the channel that would suggest that we would go, and certainly there's nothing in the channel, in the price action, in the historical perspective of Bitcoin price, that would suggest that we're gonna go anywhere near above this level here. So that can really be a disappointment for people who might be expecting that, oh, while we're here, we're now gonna be going rushing off to the 300, 400. And I have seen many YouTube videos from other people who suggest that we could have a, a bull market all the way up to 500, 600,000. And it would be nice to have that, of course, but the charts don't seem to bear that out. But based on the charts, looking at the price action and the fractals that have developed over the last 12 years, what I would suggest is that this current market for the next three years, what we can expect is that after the halving, the bull market should come to an end around about here at the end of 2024. And based on the historical perspectives here of this white line channel that I've drawn for you, really the maximum we can really hope for is at the top of this channel, which is around about 140, 150,000. So obviously we can adjust the white line a little bit to take that into account. So it may go a little bit further, 160, 170,000. But certainly, based on the facts in the charts, you wouldn't really expect realistically and logically for the market to end around the end of 2024, anywhere near 200, 400, 500, which are some of the figures that I've seen banded about. And it stayed within the confinements of this channel. So that's what I'm expecting for 2023 and 2025. So basically, based on the facts in the charts, I would say that we can expect a rally in 2023 up to the 61.8 or even the 78.6. And the two figures I've given you is 40,000 and 50,000. And the end of the bull market at the end of 2024, I think a realistic price prediction would be anywhere up to around about the 140, 150,000 dollar mark here. Okay, so moving on to the current 60 day cycle to see exactly where we are and the possible movements and direction of the Bitcoin price. We can see with the blue average line here, which is the eight EMA on the daily chart, we had nine rejections over here. It tried very hard to get above the eight EMA. It got rejected and that created a very weak price action. However, just in the last few days on the Friday close, we had this bullish candle, the hammer candle that developed. So while the price was going to go much lower, buyers came in right at the point of that low price here on Friday. And because that's a bullish hammer candle, my expectation was that we're going to break more possibly to the upside rather than the downside based on this long wick at the bottom here. And in the last few hours, we've done exactly that. We've broken up above the ATMA, making another attempt here. But I would always give you a note of caution here because we've done this many times before. We've gone above the ATMA, on this candle and then come back down on the next candle. And look how many wicks we've left. 
at the top of that. And it's happened many, many times over here as well. So for this to really be not a fake out, we need confirmation on the upside here over the next few days to see whether this will actually hold this time. But this price action has occurred in the backdrop of the 60 day cycle where we're right at the last bit of the cycle, i.e. the last 10 days of the cycle here. So if we put this potential box for the prices up here, we'll be entering into this box more on a high than a low. But so far what we can see is that we've made a higher low from these points. And this was my first target here at 16,273. So it was about to come down to that level and it actually moved back up there. So it's created another higher low from these points here. And if we do maintain that into the cycle end here on the 8th of January next Sunday, if, the, if we do go into it like this, then this will become the cycle low. So if we count it from this beginning of the cycle here, this close, this low here would be on day 51. So we may well have got a very early 60 day cycle low and that would be extremely bullish and that maybe the market is finally turning around to the upside. So only time will tell, but this is getting very critical now here. We're coming into the last five to 10 days of the cycle around this 8th of January. And what we will know is we'll have confirmation by around about the 13th of January here, because we have that five, five or six, seven days give either side of the 60 day cycle low here on the 8th of January. And if you've been following me on the tweets, I did actually tweet this yesterday and bring to your attention this particular candle, this hammer candle I've just been showing you that if we break above or below will be a very telltale sign of where this market wants to go. And we've just broken above this top of the wick here at 16,649. And if we close above that today, so this could be the early indication that we're going to higher levels. And then this could end up being the cycle low already in. And if that's the case, just like over here, if we get early signs and there's more days for a bigger rally, in the next 60 day cycle. And currently the price is at around 16,700. So we have broken through on this hammer candle here. Okay, so we'll leave it there. That's enough for today. I hope you found value in the video. And if you did, then please do remember to like and subscribe and to turn on the notification bell. And if you have any comments, questions or suggestions, especially if you wanna give me your targets for 2023 and 2025 at the end of the bull market, please leave them in the comments below. It would be really interesting to read some of those comments just to get a gauge of what people are thinking out there. Until the next time, take care, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.